Do you think this is the only way to measure distance? If we can think of distance in other ways, we can solve all types of problems. The correct distance metric can help us reduce error by limiting the difference between predictions and actuals. It can also find which things are related to each other and which things are very dissimilar from each other. Euclidean distance is often how we think about distance and it's kind of like how the bird flies between two points. But there's other distance metrics. Manhattan distance mirrors what would happen if we were to drive between two points. And it's often used in routing algorithms as well as image processing when we're trying to find similar images. When we have many different variables with different scales where some distances are longer than others, Mahabalobis distance works well for those. If we're working with strings, let's say building an autocorrection app, Levenstein distance takes the distance between edits, which helps us figure out which strings are similar to each other. So cosine distance comes into place when we're working with embeddings or vectors, where what we wanna do is find the angle between two vectors because that tells us how similar they are. These are just a handful, there's many more, and sometimes you have to invent your own distance metrics to best solve your problem.